I've been hearing a lot of people talking about uh, pump alignment and how lasers can be used to increase the accuracy and why this is so important. But I understand you're saying that it's also important to consider the, the tolerances of the components used in equipment such as bearings. Why is that? Uh, we are manufacturing uh, bearings in tungsten carbide or hard materials. And if you have bad alignments in pumps, you get vibrations, which uh, at the end is a wear in the component. Okay, that's clear, but who needs to know this message? Is it the pump makers or the pump users? It's important for the pump engineers uh, to work on uh, closer tolerances than they're used in steel because uh, hard materials need closer tolerance in, in, in position, that means concentricity or cylindricity. Now I understand you're working in materials like the, the tungsten carbides and the ceramics. I've, I've heard you can work down to tolerances of two microns. Is that really possible? It is possible. Everybody knows that uh, good controlled machines can, can do that. The engineers are working all the drawings showing uh, bigger tolerances, but we are know that the needs for ceramic and the carbide. So we're working mostly on two, three microns, but if a machine works well, it's one. Final question. What about dry running? What's your solution there? Dry running with, uh, if you choose metal bearings, that means bronze, you get uh, gulling in, if you have dry running in uh, the ceramics and carbides. You get cracks or it, tungsten carbide breaks. So we recommend uh, graphaloy, that's a, it's a metal impregnated graphite and with a content of metal you adapt the physical properties to the, to the, to the use at, at the end. So you're saying you have a material for every application? We hope so. <laughs>